Welcome back. Thank you so much for hanging out here with me today. If you're new here, I'm Cordelia and I love bright and colorful alternative makeup, gothic fashion, and more. So today's video is going to be an indie brand review. It's on the brand Necromancy Cosmetica. So let me tell you a little bit about Necromancy Cosmetica. If you don't know, they were founded in 2015. They are located in sunny Puerto Rico and they are a two-person show. Dozens out, make 100% cruelty-free, 100% vegan eyeshadows and lipsticks. They handcraft them in Puerto Rico. They test them out on all of the different colors of skin tones that you find on Puerto Rico. So I think that's awesome. They are very spooky, very gothy, and very cool in my opinion. And yeah, I, like I'm super impressed that they're a two-person show. They do it all and um, everything is handcrafted and they've been making makeup since 2015. They started with lipsticks, they perfected those, and then I think in 2021 was when they released A Gothic Romance, their first eyeshadow palette. So Dozen Sal, they basically do everything from filling orders, making products, doing the swatches, doing all the things, which I always find very impressive about smaller indie companies who are able to do that. So let's jump into the lipsticks and I do wanna show you a quick comparison between their old packaging and the new. So this is their old packaging, which I thought was very cute, very sleek, black. You just have like the Necromancy Cosmetica on it. The new packaging, which is eco-friendly and sustainable, is much bigger and bulkier and it has a lot more to it. Like it's really cute and like one of the sides it says bury me in the shade and then you see like Necromancy Cosmetica here, their gorgeous girl that they have on it here. And then they talk a little bit more about their lipstick on the back of the box. The color that I have here is actually less strange. They really do make so many different gorgeous lipstick colors, but my current personal favorites are Sacramental, which is a red wine, Bitch Witched, which is, which is a bright, cool red, Less Strange, which is a pale nude, Lydia, which is a dark plum, Necromantia, which is a dark metallic navy blue, Ophidian, which is a metallic forest green, Ancient Queen, which is a metallic gold, Witch's Brew, which is a pale purple, and Ghoul Queen, which is a minty light blue. So they make a lot more lipsticks than that, but those are, the, but those are just my favorite colors. So this is the new color Lestrange. Anyway, so that's Lestrange, which the color to me looks the same. I am not someone who is uh, particularly like picky about nudes though. Well, that's not true. I care about undertone when it comes to nudes. <laughs> this is my Necromantia. Which is much smoother. Beautiful color. This is my green. I think it's Ophidian. I'm not sure which one because it doesn't have a label, but I think it's what it is. All right, Sacramental just tried to suicide, <laughs> jumped out of its packaging. So these are the, the lipsticks that I have. These are both Lestrange. This is the metallic navy blue. This is the metallic green. And this is Sacramental. So Necromancy Cosmetica has an entire like page on their website dedicated to how to care for your lipsticks. So I'm going to read those to you really fast just that, so that you have an idea. I feel like most of these are common sense. So number one, don't leave it in the car. High heat is the worst enemy of all cosmetics. Totally agree. Number two, don't store it in humid places like the bathroom or a room without ventilation. Humidity can cause fungus and bacteria. Number three, clean your tip after using. This will prevent saliva drying at the, top of the, uh, at the tip of the lipstick. Number four, if you're not using it for a while, at least open it and warm it up in the palm of the hand. This will keep it from drying out from lack of use. Remember, our lipsticks are 100% vegan and contain no harsh chemicals or preservatives, so if you follow these recommendations, your lipsticks will last longer. It will be easier to apply. Oh, and the lipsticks are, I guess I should show you the new packaging. The lipsticks are $16 a piece. All right, now let's move on to eyeshadow because as you know, eyeshadow is probably my favorite category of makeup. <laughs> And I have both of their eyeshadow palettes. I purchased the, uh, the Gothic Romance palette whenever it came out. I think it was like March 2021. And then I wasn't going to, and then I changed my mind, and I ended up ordering the Swamp of Sorrows as well whenever it launched. Here's the Swamp of Sorrows right there. Now, in my opinion, these are some of the coolest eyeshadow palettes I've ever seen in their design. So number one, there's a little mirror that slides off. Number two, this holds eight full-size eyeshadows. So when you open it up, aside from having the beautiful picture on the back, Here's what it looks like with all eight of the colors in the Agothic Romance. Swamp of Sorrows also has beautiful artwork. Eight colors. I really, really love this design for travel because it's super small. It fits into literally any makeup bag I own. And because it's magnetized, it kind of stays put so I don't have to worry about it like, like breaking, opening, anything like that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and insert my swatches now for you of both of those eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to read through the color descriptions just so you have an idea. I did um, a gothic romance on one side and I did swamp of sorrows on the other and they're going to be clearly labeled. So for gothic romance we have infatuation which is a bright red, velvet, for velvet thorns, maroon, melancholy, dark blue, candlelight, shimmery gold, wilted roses, dusty pink, penumbra, dark gray with blue undertones, burial ground, neutral brown nude, phantasma, neutral ivory nude. And now on to Swamp of Sorrows. We have serpents, which is a metallic green, ephemeral, which is a grayish nude, solitude, which is a dark green, pantalo, which is a mossy green, enlightenment, which is a sunset yellow, gloom, which is a metallic brown, disintegration, rusty orange, and blackthorn, dark brown. And so here are all of the swatches labeled for you so you can tell which is which. I do want to talk a little bit about the color stories of both of the both of the palettes. So as somebody who considers themselves a romantic goth, I was thrilled to see a gothic romance palette come out. I really love the colors in it because you've got reds, pinks, um, wine. Those are all colors that I really do like to work with. I think they're stunning. The only thing that I don't like about a gothic romance is that there are two colors that are too close in, uh, together in my for my taste. Like I would never like. I would only use one of them, never the other, just based on my personal taste and how I wear makeup, which isn't the case for everybody. I only ever reach for melancholy. I never use penumbra. So like for me, penumbra was kind of a color that I just, it doesn't really get any love or use, but I do like melancholy because it's the dark blue. They just are, they look so very close on my skin tone and very close when applied. So that's why I only reach for one over the other. I do also want to talk about how I do really um, appreciate all of the cool tones. I love the fact that we've got a gothic makeup brand, Necromancy Cosmetica, actually making real cool toned colors that I can wear. It's so nice. It's so refreshing that everything is just not warm brown and orange for days. So let's talk a little bit about value. So Necromancy Cosmetica lipsticks are $16 each and I consider that a great price and a great value because you're getting high quality ingredients. They're 100% cruelty free. They're 100% vegan and they are going to last at least, like, I think it says like 12 months shelf life, but I have had some of these lipsticks for much longer. I only ever throw out my lipstick when it smells off or doesn't perform the same. Like if it doesn't smell right, if it doesn't perform right, anything like that, I will immediately toss it. It doesn't matter how new or how old it is, I will get rid of it. But these lipsticks like have lasted a very long time. One of the ways that you can tell that your lipsticks have gone off is if you start smelling like a crayon smell, that's a bad smell, but these have been great. So when comparing for value, like I mentioned, the Necromancy Cosmetica lipsticks are $16. When you look at, say, Black Moon Cosmetics and their Sinister Satins line, I believe they're $18 each. So they're, you know, within like $2, which is not bad price-wise. Uh, Lime Crimes Soft Touch lip, uh, Bullet Lipsticks are $15, so they're just like a little bit cheaper. And if you're looking at, say, Melt Cosmetics, another favorite brand of mine, their lipsticks are $22 each. So by my standards, Necromancy Cosmetica is highly affordable and they have an excellent range of colors. Now, when we're talking about the eyeshadow palettes and we're trying to gauge the value of those palettes, it can be a little more difficult. The eyeshadow palettes are $36 for eight eyeshadows. And I think that breaks down to like $4.50 per eyeshadow. To me, $4.50 an eyeshadow is very reasonable, especially for a palette. When I went looking for other eight pan palettes to compare it to, um, I immediately thought of the Black Moon Cosmetics Orb of Light palette, which has eight pans, but that's $48, so that's a little bit more expensive. And when I looked at the Black Moon Cosmetics Volume uh, Black Metals Volume 1 palette, also an eight pan, that's even more expensive at $52. However, I did notice that the Black Moon Cosmetics Urban Myth palette was $38, so that's a little bit closer. The, the Urban Myth palette has 10 pans and they're smaller pan sizes so I think maybe that that is why. So because I am seeing that uh, Black Moon Cosmetics Urban Myth palette at $38 for 10 eyeshadows and the Necromancy Cosmetica palettes at $36 for 8 eyeshadows, I feel like that's really comparable. I feel like this is, you know, a very reasonable price and because it's high quality ingredients it is definitely a worth the value and the cost. So when looking at these palettes, I'm sure that you want to know would I repurchase them? And here's the thing. I would absolutely repurchase the Gothic Romance palette because I love all of almost all of the colors in it except for the one that for me is a dud personally. It's not a dud for everyone. It's just me personally who doesn't like those two colors being too close. So this is one I would definitely repurchase. Um, as far as the Swamp of Sorrows goes, I have not had a chance to use it much yet, so I can't really say. I can tell you that I love the utterly unique color story. I love all of the greens in it and I love like the taupey colors. So like the greens and the taupes really speak to me. Um, but haven't had a chance to use the other colors so I don't know how I feel about them. So I don't know if this is one I would repurchase or not. 
I absolutely love the color Less Strange, that that like a uh, nude color, and I've repurchased it. So yes, I would repurchase that, and I will definitely repurchase Sacramental again whenever I run out. So I I feel like I I'm confident in the high quality of the products, the way they perform, and how they look and how they wear. So I highly love them, highly recommend them. I think they're completely worth checking out. So overall, I love the handcrafted indie beauty brand Necromancy Cosmetica. I am thoroughly impressed by the two the two person team that they are. I love that they are a married couple who does everything together. You know, they come up with the colors together. They do the packaging together. They pack everything together. Just I think it's so awesome that they're so happy and living the dream together. That that just that's goals to me. I really am impressed and love the amount of time, attention to detail, and like. Um, like complexion stuff that they worry about. I love the fact that their colors work on such a wide variety of skin tones. I feel like a lot of um, companies out there really only focus on making stuff for warm skin tones. So it's nice to see colors that work on warm and cool and deep and light. Like that really impresses me. And I feel like as far as their eyeshadow palettes go, they have very unique, interesting color stories that, you know, I can't just walk into Ulta and find a palette just like that. So I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. I am very impressed by their commitment to eco-friendly and sustainable because I believe everything that's in this packaging is now like 100% recyclable and made from recyclable materials and the eyeshadow palettes of course are going to be easy to recycle because they're also made from like the paper slash cardboard. Necromancy Cosmetica in my opinion has a very affordable pricing, a very high value for the product of what you're getting and they're very unique. So what do you think of Necromancy Cosmetica? Have you tried them? Are you interested in them? What do you think of my swatches? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you love indie makeup and you want to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, beautiful creatures. I will see you in my next video. Bye.